Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and my first PSA submission video. So while this is my first video, this is actually my second submission. I forgot to make a video for the first one, unfortunately, but I will be making a video when they return uh, sometime next year on uh, everything that I did have graded and what I got back. So what I've been doing is sending off, um, I'm trying to send off at least 200 cards at a time to get the bulk economy rate. Uh, grading isn't exactly cheap, and because I have so many cards I want to grade, I think that's just the most effective way rather than paying for any kind of expedited grading service. I'm just kind of doing the um, the, the standard bulk, and that's why it's going to take so long to get back to me. Um, but that's what we're doing now, and, and that way... Um, around 200, uh, I forget how many cards I sent in the first one, um, but it ended up being about $2,000, and that's not including um, uh, any additional charges when they come back from grading if they're worth um, more than a, uh, a set amount, I believe, of 200 per card. So I'm, I expect another bill um, upon receipt, essentially. So this is my second submission video. Um, we're going to be going through uh, a little bit of everything. Um, so the first uh, thing I'm going to show is actually I've got a friend uh, from work who is going to be um, submitting a few cards along with me. So these are his cards and uh, good to make a video for this so, so we have a little bit of a record as far as um, what he's submitting as well. So we have a Genesis Ampharos Hollow, a Shining Noctowl, two First Edition Machamp Hollows, and a Yu-Gi-Oh! Change of Heart card. So that is my friend's part of the submission. And everything else um, is my end. I'm actually going to be sending in two baseball cards for my dad as well. Um, however, he has not packed them up yet. So uh, we're just going to be doing uh, Pokemon cards, um, uh, my Pokemon card submission for the rest of this video. So... Uh, this is my more valuable stack. I'm kind of trying to put in about 200 cards, less than $200 a piece in value. And, um, uh, uh, I forget what this is, maybe 25, 30 cards or so of cards that if they get graded highly enough, may be worth more than $200, um, once they're graded, of course. So we have some base set two cards, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. We have a first edition Genesis Lugia, uh, unlimited Genesis Lugia, Celebi EX, a Charizard Secret Rare Hollow, Rocket Scizor EX, oops, Rocket's Mewtwo EX, a Shining Celebi, Shining Charizard, Shining Kabutops, Shining Raichu, Shining Steelix. First edition Shining Gyarados, Shining Magikarp, Shining Tyranitar, First edition Shining Noctowl, oh, and uh, yeah, that Tyranitar was first edition as well. First edition Shining Steelix, First edition Shining Kabutops, First edition Shining Celebi, and first edition Shining Charizard. Really hoping this one comes back great and nicely. Um, I actually do have a unlimited um, Shining Noctowl to grade as well. But because my friend is sending his in, I didn't want there to be um, a chance of the cards getting mixed up um, in case they did get different grades. So um, I'll be sending mine along on a different submission. So that is my stack of... Um, potentially cards that are going to be worth more than $200 when they return from grading. So everything else in this video um, are, are hope, well, not hopefully. It, I mean, it'd be great if some of these got gem 10s and, and got, um, oh, hello, Walter, um, and were more, worth more than $200, but I'm, I'm not getting that hopeful. Um, so we have a bunch of VS series cards. Um, oops, sorry, let that focus back in again. And uh, I sent a lot of my VS series cards in my first submission, so things like Lance's Charizard. I essentially went through every card in my VS series, um, picked out what was worth, I think, grading as far as uh, hopefully close enough to mint. Um, cards that weren't worth grading, I have actually already sold, so I did break up the set. Um, but I also had um, an Umbreon, a Karen's Umbreon, um, that was already graded, and so I sold that off as well. 
Um, essentially what I am doing right now is selling off cards that I'm not going to get graded and that is funding the cards to be graded. Um, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it, it's not cheap. My first submission was a couple of grand. So, um, it definitely takes a little while of, of selling the other cards, um, just to have enough to send in, um, to be able to afford, uh, any submissions. So now we're getting into, let me move these VS cards out of the way. Um, actually, I should have probably done these backwards uh, as, as I'm sitting them down. Because I do have these all typed out in an Excel. Um, so now we're into some base set two hollows. And I apologize if, you know, this is the first video I've taken with these angles Um in a long time. It's with my camera phone. It's a new tripod, so I'm kind of getting used to everything. So a good amount of base two hollows. Most of these cards are pack fresh from my 2,575 pack booster opening, but as I've been going through, I've realized that pack fresh does not always mean gem mint, and there have been flaws um, that I that I found in some of the cards that have uh, led to me pulling them for grading. So those were the base two cards. And let me grab this stack. We've got some base set stuff. Unfortunately, my base set Shadowless and first edition sets, um, they they were pretty damaged. So I actually recently sold them and, and that was actually a, a big, um, boost in, in funding for PSA submissions. Um, all of the money that I'm making off of the sales, though, is not just going towards um, PSA. What I've been doing is uh, splitting it up um, between essentially my house mortgage. Now we're getting into Jungle First Edition. Um, so yeah, so uh, putting some on my mortgage, putting some on um, re essentially reinvesting into the cards and um, Hopefully that's going to be kind of a nice balance to uh, make some financially smart decisions. Okay, so we have a first edition, uh, a bunch of first edition fossils. And I believe everything in this submission are all hollows. Um, I have started going through some of the non-hollow rares, but I don't think I included any in this. Uh, yeah, so now we're getting into the unlimited fossil hollows. Magneton, Moltres, Muck, Raichu, Zapdos, Lapras. And before I go into these, let me move this stack. Now, I do have a sale video up of uh, just hollows, and that was up, oh, maybe a week or so ago. <clears throat> so if you're interested in some of the cards, um, uh, I've got also descriptions of them online as well, but I can get into that later. Uh, so Dragon Frontiers, Alteria EX, Dragonite EX, Gardevoir EX, Kingdra EX, Latias, I guess I can just stop saying the EX part. Latios, Salamance, Tyranitar, now we're into Power Keepers, Claydol, Shiftry, Salamance, Metagross, Flygon, Walrein, Absol, Ruby and Sapphire EXs, Chansey, Hitmonchan, I love this Lapras. Magmar, Mewtwo, Scyther, Sneasel, Swampert, we're into Crystal Guardians here, Shiftry, Sceptile, Kyogre, Jirachi, Groudon, Exploud, Delcaddy, and Blaziken, and we actually have some more Crystal Guardians EXs, Agron, uh, well, just the one, I guess. Holland Phantom's Mighty Yenna. Crawdunt. Azumarill is the secret rare. Delta Species Vaporeon. Flareon. 
Legend Maker Arcanine, Armaldo, Walrein, Groudon, Kyogre, uh, and the Hidden Legends, Metagross, Ninetales, Regirock, Registeel, Wigglytuff, the Secret Rare Groudon, Team Magma vs. Team Aqua, Secret Rare Jirachi, and Abzol, Swampert, Suicune, Sceptile, Raikou, Entei, Crotaly, Dragon, um, Charmander, Secret Rare, um, Muck, Magcargo, Ampharos, Golem, Latias, uh, Sandstorm, Raichu, Wailord, Aerodactyl, Agron, ah, need to make room. Okay, now we're getting into the last stack. I think the total submission might be around 250 cards. Gardevoir, Kabutops, Zapdos, Articuno, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Secret Rare, Charmander, Mr. Mime, the other Mr. Mime, Clefable, Registeel, Regirock, Camerupt, Altaria, Regice, Milotic, Sharpedo, Crobat, Hariyama, Man Manectric, I think we're in Unseen Forces, I always mix up Unseen Forces and Deoxys, Charmeleon, Secret Rare for Team Rocket Returns, A um, little bit of Diamond and Pearl stuff, uh, Garchomp Level X, Empoleon, Darkrai, Electivire, Magmordar, Time Space Distortion, Rockets Persian, Ho-Oh, Meganium, Steelix, Typhlosion, um, so now we're back into the EX series, a little bit all over the place, um, Dragonite from Dragon, Rayquaza EX from Dragon, Typhlosion from Sandstorm, Blastoise from Fire Red, Leaf Green, Moltres from Fire Red, Leaf Green, Raikou from, again, a mix up Deoxys and Unseen Forces. I think that was Deoxys. Uh, Deoxys from Deoxys, another Deoxys from Deoxys, Rayquaza from Deoxys, Rocket Zapdos, uh, my favorite set, Team Rocket Returns. Rocket Suicune, Rocket Snorlax, Rocket Sneasel, Rocket Scyther, I love this card. Rocket's Entei, and my last card to get graded, the Secret Rare, here comes Team Rocket. So, nice stack of cards. These are all going to be shipped out, most likely by the time this video goes up. Thank you everyone for watching my first PSA submission video, but my second PSA submission, um, depending on how sales go for everything that I've decided not to grade, um, I'm uh, hopefully we'll be putting in another submission in, in maybe a month or two. Um, yeah, it all just kind of depends on, uh, I, I like to make a significant dent in my house mortgage before I, I kind of alternate and then make another PSA submission. So we're doing a little back and forth. Um, I believe uh, the background is uh, from my uh, awesome friend whose YouTube name I believe is Doctor Who Riffs. Um, she made this for me many, many years ago, and uh, I've kept it ever since, and it's still pretty awesome. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you'll stay tuned. We have many more collection showcase videos coming up. We've got daily ones coming for at least a month or two. Um, I'm going to be doing another sale video probably within the week. And the next time I can uh, afford another PSA submission, we'll be sending off another shipment of 200 plus cards. And I'll make another video of that. So I hope everyone will stay tuned.